I like I didn't hear about that with with Chanel, Coco Chanel. No, I had no idea. You know, um, I mean, anytime you hear about recently. Like Twelve thousand dollar purses. So that's about it. Yeah, <laughs> right. But I. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you with us again today for another reaction yeah. and uh, one of your favorites. Billy we got Boy. Billy Boy. Billy's Billy coming Boy. back. Billy Boy. And he's coming back with the fire as usual. Oh, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, always got the fire, it seems like. It's, uh, it's been great so far. All your recommendations have been uh, outstanding with Bill. Uh, moved yeah. on to a lot of other artists. You know, Dave Chappelle. We got Patrice O'Neill. Uh, we've done George Ricky Carlin. Gervais, George Carlin. Lots of comedy. So if you haven't subscribed, you should probably think about doing that and go and check it out some of those videos. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're coming back to, to Bill this for this one. Bill on canceling dead people. This was a recommendation for you guys. Looks like it's a short clip of audio. Hopefully we don't have the wrong one. Um, that's been problematic in the past. So, Sometimes um, it's hard to tell like, it is. How to, without it's, watching it, right? It's very hard to tell. Um, so uh, we've kind of glanced through a few of the recommendations and like I said, hopefully this is the right link. But uh, with that said, you ready for Bill Burr canceling dead people? I am. Let's go. Connery died, the great Sean Connery. Yeah, my favorite James Bond of all time. Yeah, and he was getting a proper send off for about eight minutes on Twitter, and then the first hairy leg white chick shows up, right? <laughs> and she's just gotta be like, Ray, Ray. Are we really gonna celebrate this man who advocated the hitting of women? <laughs> It's like, first of all, he didn't advocate hitting women, okay? He just said, you know, every once in a while, he'd give him a little slap. <laughs> yeah, give him a little back of the hand, you know. remind him who's making the box office, you know. reset their hard drive. <laughs> That's all he said, okay? Yes, it's a crazy statement in 2021. 1976, you know, it's not good, but it's not crazy. Right? And he's born in 1930. You gotta put the shit in historical perspective. You ever watch, I love old movies. You ever watch movies from the 30s, 40s, and 50s? Yeah. Anytime a woman even has heightened emotion, there's some guy like, ah, get a hold of yourself, <laughs> psh, psh. Yeah, go make me a pie, put it on a windowsill. Right? That's what he grew up watching. I grew up in the 70s. I thought being a truck driver was a cool thing. You know, you had a monkey for a friend. You're going around, chicks are showing their titties. I thought that that was the world. I had no idea. That's what I was watching. My thing is, is okay, so if you're gonna cancel all of these fucking dead guys, and you're gonna shit all over them after they're dead and they can't defend themselves, wh why are you only going after men? You know, what about all the horrible women in history? You can't just go after the men, that would be sexist. And this is what they don't want. You know? I mean, what about Coco Chanel? Great example. Coco Chanel, widely considered a feminist icon. She started her own purse factory, right? In the 19 teens or 20s, whatever the hell she did. I can't imagine the sexism that she had to, she had to deal with, you know? An amazing accomplishment accomplishment hats off to her right however <laughs> she was also a Nazi sympathizer <laughs> yeah that's like half her fucking Wikipedia page just sit there wait for someone to read it <laughs> right out in the open nothing so evidently what happened was in World War two old Adolf came rolling into town okay with his tanks with the Porsche engines in them took over the town in like fucking 90 minutes. She freaked out, she closes up her shop, right? Figured out where all the head Nazis were staying, what hotel, she moved in there and she started a relationship with one of the Nazis. Yeah, she started fucking <laughs> a Nazi. <laughs> you know, and again, Bill's coming with the truth, you know. I didn't even know that. 
I, I, I think I heard something about that before. What I was going to say, though, was the same thing about Adidas and Puma back in the day. You know, they got their starts from being a Nazi oh, company. Really? Yeah, True. that's where they're from. Volkswagen, same thing. I'm pretty sure maybe BMW, something like that, they're Mercedes. German, right? so, yeah. yeah, but like they basically started in the industrial age of that time period, yeah. but nobody wants to talk about these things, right? And what they're, uh, you know, even... Um, you know, after after World War II, um, the U.S. hired a lot of uh, scientists from Nazi Germany, maybe, yeah. right? Because, yeah, I've heard that. You know, um, this is Operation Paperclip, I think, maybe. Um, can't remember which one it was. Anyways, but uh, not to go on too much of a tangent here, but, you know, it's, it's he's speaking the facts of, like, yeah. a lot of the time we don't acknowledge, you know, what some of the significance of history is yeah. because so it's not convenient to, to do now. so, yeah. right? Because they've done all these amazing, amazing things since then. But in yeah. his instance, he's saying like, I like, I didn't hear about that with, with Chanel, Coco Chanel, no, I had no idea. you know, um, I mean, anytime you hear about recently. Like $12,000 purses, that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Right. But I, you know, definitely didn't hear about that when she passed away or anything. No. Can a Nazi. <laughs> You ever see those Holocaust videos? Huh, with those piles of kid shoes? Yeah, she was sucking the dick that did that. <laughs> now, just to refresh my memory, uh. what did Sean Connery do again? <laughs> oh, you know, every, every once in a while, you give him a little slap. That's what he did. <laughs> She's sitting there like, hey, Adolf, what's going on? <laughs> She so sold out her own country, she had to flee it at the end of the war. And I have no idea how many dicks she had to suck to get back in it. <laughs> but I'll tell you, despite all of that, I still don't judge her. I know. Because I've never been in that situation. You know, I've never been in a country where all of a sudden the, the most powerful army the world has ever seen comes in and takes it over in a couple hours. She must have been terrified, right? And she's a woman. You know, she's into fashion. They show up with those Hugo Boss uniforms. You know, her knees buckle a little bit. <laughs> Things start getting great. This was great uh, usage of sliding that in there. <laughs> that was a great punchline right there. Uh, you know, it's funny too. I was talking to, um, talking. I was listening to a Jordan Peterson uh, episode on Spotify. I can't remember specifically what it was from. It's from like multiple chapters. So they have like one to fifteen or something like that. Ten minute clips. And uh, one of them was basically talking about acknowledging, um, you know, what is real and then making, trying to, you know, once you've acknowledged that, then you can move beyond it. And some people don't want to acknowledge, for example, that people took part in these things in history yeah. and they were human beings, yeah. right? They were human beings that were capable of doing the things that these people did. Yeah. Meaning you and I are also capable, capable yeah. of doing those things if we don't have the right mentality. Yeah, or about, put in the certain circumstances right. that you're so, forced to make exactly. a decision. Right? So he was, in, in this video, he basically, or in this um, podcast, he basically talked about how these people were like sick to their stomachs and like, you know, literally physically ill in doing these things that you know he's kind of getting at a little bit but they were still doing them and then there were also people that were doing it and enjoying it yeah. right so like but it comes back to when you're put into those circumstances you don't know how you're gonna respond yeah. and that's the biggest key is that we all don't know you know when the pressure mounts what type of person you're gonna become and what you're going to do to survive and what 100%. the necessities are going to be. And, and I think it also is, like what he just said, is that you can't really judge somebody until you've physically been in their shoes, right? Yeah. So until you've been put in a position where you would go through what they've gone through and you made a different decision, yeah. you can't... Yeah, you can't, and for some people know. in that, you know, in those decision makings, it's life or death, right? So it's not saying it's right or wrong because, you know... If everybody made a good decision, we probably wouldn't be led down those paths, yeah. right? But at the end of the day, you, like you said, you can't you can't know what somebody's gonna do until they're in that position, right? Yeah. Ugly people are getting shot in the street. She's freaking out. You know. Sorry, just rewind it a little bit. Hugo Boss. Her knees buckle a little bit. 
things start getting ugly. People are getting shot in the street. She's freaking out, you know. And she's a woman, and women know push comes to shove. When you get your back against the wall, no matter how bad it gets, they always have the option of fucking their way out of a situation. <laughs> they always got that card they can play, right? All women know this. Women, I, all women know this. Men don't realize this till they go to prison. But women <laughs> learn this early on. <laughs> She had the option, and she took it. I can't get mad at her for that, you know? So she's dead and gone. I think she's up there in heaven. I think she made it. She's up there with Sean Connery. Every once in a while, they have a disagreement. He gets a little slap, you know? She doesn't care what you shit on a Nazi's chest. I mean, a little backhand's not going to freak you out. Jesus can't say anything. He got a hooker, right? Everybody's got a little something they did. Um, yeah, there you go. So, still by your Coco Chanel. She's still a hero. She was a victim. She was a victim of that time. <laughs> she was frightened. She was scared. She didn't know what to do. Oh, Billy. Billy boy. <laughs> this one, I think, was a little more um, talking points, I guess, uh, than... Yeah. You know, savage jokes. I mean, it was still savage nonetheless, and it was. He's talking uh, about sucking all these guys' <laughs> wieners. So. <laughs> she can't go that. Only Bill's allowed to say the bad words, not Samantha. Samantha's too innocent for that. Um, so we've corrupted her. Great job, guys. Great job. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think, like, it was funny. It was still enjoyable. I liked yeah, it. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it was jokes. I think um, it, was it was just, like, last, like, Punches, I think, is what the yeah. word I'm looking for in this one. Yeah. But I did like that it stoked a little bit of conversation as well. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so you enjoyed it? Yeah, it was good. All right, I hope you enjoyed our reaction, guys. Thanks for the recommendation. Hit us in the comments with another one. Come back soon. Check yes. out the other videos. Subscribe so I don't lose my breath. I'm going to stop now. Come back soon. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.